Hi guys, I am Ashutosh and today I am back with another tutorial on Flask and MongoDB. So today we will talk about like creating a dockerized MongoDB plus Flask application and deploying it into Kubernetes. So when we first think that we want to create a Flask plus MongoDB application, what, we, uh, what comes to our mind is that we will create a Flask server in which some of the routes will need to access the database and for that for that database we'll use the mongodb application so what uh, architecture we uh, visualize first is that we'll have one docker container inside uh, two things will be running one is our flask server and another thing is our mongodb but in my opinion this is not a good architecture let's say uh, because of some reason a docker container crashes then you will lose both mongodb and flask application so the uh, front end applications which are accessing the flask routes which are even not related to uh, database those will not be accessible and on the other side the uh, other other flask servers which are accessing mongodb that will not be accessible because we have lost both mongodb and flask now the solution for that is we'll create a, a, a docker image which will create two docker containers in which one will have mongodb running and another will have flask application running so for that we'll use docker compose and we'll create docker compose.yml file for that so first let's create an empty project inside visual studio code or any other editor that you like then we will first create our flask application uh, for that we will have to include two files one is app.py and another is requirement.txt first uh, in requirement.txt we will include flask and we will also include pymongo because uh, pymongo is a library in python from where we can access or we can call or query the mongo database now we will create a basic flask application So we have created a basic uh, flask application but note here that we have not included any mongodb query here but uh, and we will include that in future uh, when we create our docker yml file and everything. So after that we want to dockerize this application that's why we also need a docker file. So let's create a docker file so we will uh, use python 3.6 for uh, running this flask application we will add all the files present in this current directory into our app directory inside the container we will assign working directory as app directory and we will just run pip install requirement.txt so now our, our flask application is ready to be deployed but, but wait we have not created our mongodb so we will create docker compose.yml file what this file will include is it will include the co yml code which will create one container plus for flask server it will create another container for mongodb application and then it will link those both containers uh, so that our flask application can query the database which is in other container that is mongodb so I have directly copy pasted the code inside this docker compose file. You can pause the video and write the code or else I have given the, the whole code repository in the description box below. So now you can see in docker compose file that we have two components here. One is app and another is database. 
so you can see that app is uh, we have given command build command it means it will build the docker uh, container based on or docker image based on the docker file that we have given it will run the app dot py which is our flash server it has also forwarded the ports which is five uh, five thousand uh, we have given that our working directory is app directory so we have also given the volume you can also see that we have given the link as a db what it does is it will inform the docker image that this app docker container will be linked to another docker container which is db now similarly you can create other docker containers here also here and you can link those here let's say you want to create some other docker container for front end you can specify those containers here at the bottom and you can uh, and you can specify them here in the links now you can see that our database has a, a image tag which is this one mongo latest what it means is it will it will fetch the mongo latest image from the docker hub for this for uh, creating this container another very important tag is the host name which is given as test mongodb note that we will query our database from flask application using this host name you can see that we have also created some environment uh, where, which is the, our default database will be animal db our uh, database username will be root and our database password will be pass we have also created a volume for this so uh, right now we have not created initdb.js what this initdb.js file will do is it will initialize the data mongodb database when it is created so let's say you want to create some dummy table tables at the creation of database so you you can do that using this initdb.js file also you can see that our uh, the docker container associated with mongodb has port forwarding as follows to e initialize the database with some tables at the time of creation of the container we need to specify those tables here in initdb.js so here what we'll do is we'll first fetch that database using get sibling db method and our database name is animal db we want to create one table which is animal db here so we'll drop it if it is available by default then we'll insert some rows inside this animal db table using insert many method just insert the array of json object here so we have initialized our mongodb with one, with one collection that is animal db and we have inserted two objects inside that collection now how to query the database from flask application to mongodb so first create a method to get the database instance so let's so let's create a database instance first we'll create a client object which is created from mongo client we need to pass a parameter as host remember that we have used a host name as test mongodb inside our docker compose yaml file so here also we'll specify the same name then other parameter is our port which we have given 27017 inside docker compose yaml file so we'll specify the same we'll create we'll pass username as root because we have given the same in docker compose yaml file we'll pass password as pass as per the given in docker compose yaml file and we'll also provide one more additional parameter that is auth source which mentions that are you a user are you an admin or are you a consumer so we are admin so that's why i am specifying admin now to create database instance we have to select a database so which database we want to select so you can see that we have created a default database 
which is animal db so you can specify that using just select animal db using this now just return the database using ret return statement now we have created our return db we'll create another route now to query the database we'll create another met route that is app route animals where we'll query the mongo database now we'll create a method fetch animals here first we'll get the database instance that we have created call the uh, just call the method get db then we'll fetch the data using animals db our uh, dot our database name that is animal db dot find what this will do is it will query the mongo db and it will fetch the table inside the animal db that is animal tb now just convert this table into a reusable format we'll fetch three labels from this just return the jsonify response in the dictionary now we are querying the database now to build the docker image based on this entire application and to deploy it there is just one simple command that is docker compose up with this command what it will do is it will find the docker compose.yml file in the current directory it will go inside and it will execute all these commands so with running this command you can see it it is fetching the images required it will install the following dependencies and it will initialize our application o open up the browser window and just type localhost 5000 so it will give you access to your flash server also you can uh, you can see that your flash server is running at 5000 port and uh, you uh, your mongodb query is at route animals so also query at localhost 5000 animals you will see that uh, you have successfully queried to your mongodb db which is running an, on another container so like this you can create as many containers as possible and you can link one one to each other that's how you can create small small microservices for your use and also to deploy this application i've already created a video on deploying a dockerized application to kubernetes so you will only need the name of the image name of the docker image that you have created using this docker compose ml file to fetch the name of this docker image you can run this command docker images and on, on the top you will find the name of the docker image that is flask mongo app underscore app so just use this image name inside your deployment.yml file to deploy this entire application into kubernetes to to know more about deployment watch the video given in the description box below so that's all for today guys Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for exclusive content like this. I'll be back with another tutorial next weekend. Till then, stay safe.